Hello and hi there, people of the internet. Welcome back to the Cosmic Cuddle stream. This is Alan Wake 2, part 2. So, uh, we've been off to an interesting start yesterday uh, with a lot of negative and positive elements. Uh, on the positive side, on the plus side, uh, we are back in Bright Falls. We are back at Cauldron Lake and in the creepy diner and all this weird shit, you know, that's just lurking around the corner and waiting to just rain down mystical, cosmic, horror, meta-fiction goodness on us. I know it's there, it's just, you know, waiting and I, I'm loving it. Uh, I love the detective angle, like, you know, it starts like a, a, po uh, a police story more than an, a horror game. That's cool. What I do not love, on the other hand, is the way uh, the main character so far, Saga Anderson, is depicted because she's supposed to be this normal FBI agent, only she is kind of a mind reader, but it's not acknowledged either by her or by anyone else. So, yeah, I mean, you can get hunches, I mean, that's part of detective work, I suppose, but when you when, when you reach the point <clears throat> where you can actually, you know, <coughs> guess people's private thoughts and deep deeply buried secrets and that figure out for no reason that this guy you know this naked guy he came out of the lake even though it makes no sense well that's pushing it a, a bit too far for me in in, <coughs> in terms of you know um keeping the whole thing believable uh also i encountered some you know technical issues that i wasn't expecting at all from a game of this caliber so well, we'll see um, whether these subside or not. That being said, I'm really, really happy I'm playing this game. And I mean, there's, it's, not, it's no wonder I'm coming back to it uh, the day after I started it. I'm already back because I really want to know what happens next. Um, last note before I begin, um, I did a bit of reading and it really looks like uh, Remedy Entertainment clearly stated that this was created as a 30 FPS experience from the ground up and that, I mean, basically they told people, you can do whatever you want. We did put a performance, a performance mode in there, but as far as we're concerned, you should use quality mode for the atmosphere. And I, I did a little bit of digging and yes, switching to performance does, doesn't just affect resolution. It affects level of detail and a lot of, you know, effects, alpha effects and the, uh, and the like, they get paired back if you choose this mode. And given this is not, you know, a game, a reaction based game, this is not a all guns blazing type of, you know, action brawler of, or anything when your reaction really, reaction speed really matters. No, this is a survival horror, atmosphere is key. So I'm going with quality mode from, from now on. I think it's going to be the best choice. And that's it really. So, yep. Uh, without further ado, let's dive into it. Let's go. Alan Wake 2. So when I watched my stream um, from yesterday, I noticed that maybe my voice was a little too loud and uh, the game was not loud enough, so I did some fiddling with the levels and it should be better now. My voice should be not as preeminent compared to the game sound. So this is right where we left off. Now I'm heading outside and telling the people that we're supposed to go to the police station or maybe I'll just, you know, take a bit of a stroll and wander around. I started to do that uh, before getting to the, uh, to, to the diner and then, you know, I got bored and I wanted to speed things up, so... I'll Let's see. see. My guys, My guys have, have nothing, nothing up more if you're ready, ready to take a, take a look. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, no, I have no look, choice. Look, I, gotta I gotta lead. lead. Looks like, Looks like we're dealing with the cult. cult. The cult, the cult of the, of the tree. tree. The murder cult. Fuck. Have you, Have heard, you heard of this, of this cult, cult of the, of the tree, tree, Sheriff? Only the urban, urban legend. If you're in the, the woods at night, the cult, cult will get you. That sort of thing. 
It looks like nobody is acknowledging our FBI jackets. Hey, what do you think about, about that waitress, waitress from the from diner? diner? <laughs> Rose? Rose? Yeah, she's, she's a, a bit of a space, space, space case. No, it's always has been. Why? Why? What's she, what she do now? She kept she saying, saying that my daughter drowned. drowned. She even knew my name. name. Yeah. It was also oh, very, very weird. weird. Rose has Rose a talent, talent saying saying weird, weird things possible. But, but, that's not that's a thing to personal. She called me by name. How am I supposed not to take it personally? Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, downstairs ready, ready to go. go. I'd like to, I'd take, like to take a closer look, look as soon as, as, soon as possible. possible. Lead the Lead way, the way sheriff. sheriff. So Saga volunteered to oh, perform the autopsy herself. Need, need, just, uh, just, uh, let us know. Let us know. We, appreciate we appreciate the support, the support Sheriff. Sheriff. Oh, this brings back memories. Brightfall Police Station. Yep. I got scared shitless within these walls. And this is just a, a storage room, isn't it? Yep. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Agent. Agent. Can I speak to people? Can I just, you know, bother yes, everyone? You know, the, investigation the investigation is taken over, over by yeah. the federal, federal agents. agents. <laughs> Sheriff, Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate, cooperate fully. fully. I, 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 I am. I'm being, being serious, serious Nelson. Nelson. I'm looking at you, Nelson. You gotta trust me, Nelson. I'm ready to disrupt your normal day at work as many times as necessary. I can come back in this room and swirl around for no reason. For hours, I, Nelson. I don't know, I don't know about, about you folks, folks yep. but I don't, I don't care, care for all these, these gruesome, gruesome murders, murders and whatnot right, right here, here in our, in our whole little, little town. town. It's, not it's not what I, what I signed, signed up for. for. This line, this line of, work of work is not faint of heart. heart. Faint of, of... Bam! Burn! I was about to say the same thing, honestly, like, you signed up to be a cop, didn't you? What did you think that was going to be about? Even the small town? Did you think you were going to spend your whole life, you know, getting cats yeah, off yeah. trees. I have I have bagel bagel way way How many lines of dialogue did they actually record for this? In a place I wasn't even supposed to go at this point of the game, like, it's completely optional. I like the fact that they went, you know, the distance on this. Okay, leaving you alone for now, Nelson. Don't you get too comfortable though. Now I'm disrupting your day. I'm getting the map. Yeah. I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them. And there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff station for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed. And you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper roll? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. Oh, 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 oh. It's on. Hi there. Janitor guy. Even since I played control, every janitor janitor looks very suspicious to me and very ominous. Like, are you some kind of cosmic force in disguise, or you know, are you just cleaning a mirror? Guess you're just cleaning a mirror. It won't, it won't open. open. They locked up the innocent, innocent man. man. Or did they? Okay. I swear I, swear I, didn't, I didn't do anything. Do anything. They're well, they're a bunch, bunch of bastards. bastards. Okay, I, I get your point. Me, right? I don't know you. I, I, I can't even 
inter properly interact with you. There's no prompt. Okay. Enough fucking around. Let's get down to business and go cut ourselves a corpse. Why do you look like Discount Steve Buscemi? Buscemi? How do you say that in English? I don't know. See, I'm coming your way. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I am a, I am a tourist. tourist. And it, and it appears, appears that I'm lost, lost in the woods. Wood. If if only only had had Remedy I Entertainment. <laughs> Golden. I need to fix my mic. This is the kind of shit you only get in Gravity Games. Oh, and I can watch it again whenever I want to because I got the VHS tape. Oh, generous, generous developers. Thank you so much for this. See? Nelson, I'm still here. I'm watching you. All the time. Okay. Okay, let's get some actual shit done. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. I know my stuff. Cool. Ooh, the lighting. Something about the morgues. Always cheer me up. <laughs> So just in case I wasn't aware that bolt cutter bolt cutters is going to be a key item in this game, they hit me with another padlock. Ammo. Hmm. But why would I need ammo? This is a peaceful town. And I'm, I'm sure the only threat is the cult. It's not like the cult is going to jump at me in this morgue, is it? Why would the game give me ammo at this precise point? And what's with the music? Why more ammo? What are you trying to tell me, Alan Wake 2? And what what is with the physics in this game? Come on. Do, am I surrounded by a force field or something? Like, every physical object I come near is going to get, like, ejected into the sun? And batteries! Ammo and batteries. Now look at that. Would you believe it? Something's going to happen and it's not going to be pretty. It's not opening. No, it's not because it's not the right way. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start mm -hmm. with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. 
Oh, you even prayer than before. Okay. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? I wish it wasn't, you know, so hand holding. He put up a fight. This looks like text. Mm. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Yeah, but some of the victims from the other cases they were tattooed postmodern. The body shows signs of being submerged in water postmortem. It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. They wrote on the heart. Writing. How'd they manage that? Yes, yeah, same question. Well, is it like pyro carved? Ooh. Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Okay, I'm supposed to stare at the corpse for a few seconds while I retreat to my inner world. Case board. Uh, this one. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Anything to learn from the body? Yes. So, okay, it all goes here. No mystery. Yep, something was put in there. Okay. <clears throat> Ritual writing, yep. I can't make out what it says, okay. Victim was alive when strapped down, and the timeline is con inconsistent with bloating. Yes! Yes, I get it now. The corpse is bloated because it was immersed in water. But that was before it was strapped to the table. So how can his corpse be bloated and still, you know, if the cause of death isn't drowning? Yeah, makes no sense. Very interesting. I mean, I, I suppose that's because he was in the lake all this time trapped with Alan or something, something like that. Um, so that's why. But what is the FBI going to make of this? Because it makes no sense, you know, on a rational level. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. No, it's tattoos. That's it. How did the killers have time to tattoo the heart if they had to flee the crime scene right after they carved it out of the victim's body? And of course, in a normal world, uh, the heart couldn't have been tattooed while still in the guy's chest. Yes, that's a good case. Uh, that, that's a good criminal case. I like it. <laughs> There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Okay, so uh, yeah, this uh, this is where I can rewatch my the videos I found. Okay, so what's in there? She's fearless. I like that. She's not phased a bit. Is that another manuscript page? Why would you touch this with your bare hands? Wear some gloves same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. That's inconsistent. What? Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. Is that... I didn't think Shanashmore? 
to this case. I didn't recognize him. I have them right here. Oh, it definitely is. That's amazing. I think the black guy was from Quantum Break. Holy shit, that was brutal. I mean, I knew something was going to happen here because of the resources Didn't the game her. gave me. Could not see into bright light. But I didn't imagine that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Try to in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. So, in the first game, the light made you invulnerable. Like, they could not follow you into the light. But they still saw you, like, when you stepped out. They knew you were there. And it looks like now, when you step into the light, you become invin in invincible to them. So that's an interesting de development. Can I go? Yeah. Mind place currently unavailable. You don't say. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it'll become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Which way, though? Was I supposed to follow him? Okay. This is not how the story goes. Nope. And this is why I get to... What? Can I skip this? Yep. He's coming. Need to be in the light. He can't see me in the light. I don't know whether I'm going to. I'm supposed to go, you know. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Follow the exit sign. I'll go behind him. I think that's because he bumped into me and that fucked fucked up his script in a way. Ah, come on, don't do that to me, game. He's coming. Need to be in the light.
So when you leave the room, I'm going to the hall. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Gotta move. Now. Okay then. So the first Alan Wake was divided in episodes. This one is divided in chapters, which makes sense. And that's a nice song. So I didn't know I was so close to uh, the end of a chapter. Obviously, when I ended uh, the latest session, last session yesterday night, would make sense to try to um, have sessions that are chapters long, but I don't know how long they're supposed to be, so we'll see. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Okay. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start relearning this cult's goal, their purpose. Oh, okay, he's not getting up. So what happened to the rest of the police station? Let me just take a quick look. It's funny because this visual style, it has, you, you know, really a signature to it. These reflections, I mean, they scream like this is a remedy engine. It really shows. Mm-hmm. Okay, what was the point? We'll never know. Can't be opened on this side. So how do we get back? Wait. <laughs> Shouldn't there be a door there? Or is it, you know, in this room? That's weird. It 
it won't open. Are you gonna get up? Am I stuck in there? Nope. Can I still talk to him? No. We have exhausted dialogue, so... Okay, let's be methodical. Back in here, in this basement. No interaction here. Must be locked from the other side. Yep, locked from the other side. This is not an actual door. Can't get through here. Can't get through there. So what's keeping me from walking out this door? There is no prompt. Nothing I can do. It doesn't budge. Uh-huh. <laughs> what the hell? Do I need to go to the case board first? Do, is there something I need to... No. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Nightingale attacked us. A corpse attacked us. I used his sensitivity to lights to fight him off, but he got away. I need to hunt him down and figure out what the fuck is going on here. Yep. So sometimes it looks like I'm going to be stuck in, in uh, like, unable to advance in the progression because uh, I will have to go back to the mind place in order to solve some shit. But then again, if this allows me to open a door that I should have been able to open all the... I mean, in the meantime, it's not going to make sense. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm weirded out by this. Uh, uh, we'll see. Saga like had to pursue an angle into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. The overlap. Oh. Yep. According to the page, sounds like Nightingale went back into the Cauldron Lake and he's taken. Yep, I, I, I had forgotten about this. This is how we call zombies in um, Alan Wake. They are the taken. So, yep, how are they creating monsters? But yeah, Casey's hypothesis makes sense. <sighs> Riding is part of, of the ritual because of course it is. Yeah, that's true. Nightingale is the only one who turned into a monster. What about the others? So is this what kept me from going forward or do I need to talk to uh, Casey again now that I have pieced it together yep the page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake calls him a Taken we need to head over there stop him before anyone else gets hurt okay Yes, and maybe we need to warn everyone in this station. Yeah, thank you. We, we heard gunshots. You all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. 
sorry, adjusting audio levels here. But I think like the game is still a bit quiet for my taste. Okay, okay, okay. So that's crazy, right, Thornton? Yeah. Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the the sheriff? Yeah, I'm sorry about, you know. Sorry about shattering your whole worldview here, Thornton. But guess what? About magic and monsters. Do I have news for you? Okay. Mm, they're a fine pair. No. Don't mock them, Casey. Actually, your reaction is a strange one. I mean, we really like staying too calm about this. This is not okay. I mean, no one would react the way Casey and Saga are reacting right now. We should be like having panic attacks rolling on the floor. I mean, some people, you know, are, are just too hard-boiled to be believable. I heard some splashing sounds, some water sounds. Where did that come from? Good day. Good day to you too. Was someone just, you know, pouring themselves a, a glass from the water fountain? How you doing? My client has been held here long enough. Who's your client? Are you going to let me speak to them or not? Uh, uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. No, they're all dead. Sorry. Your client is staying there, where he's safe. It won't open. Okay. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We Don't need you to think? Be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare, ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. I know I should be in a hurry, but well. I just want to see how far I can go. Okay, not that this is far. Not the way. <laughs> Who are you? The Mandalorian? The reverse Mandalorian. The one who says this is not the way. Where is the speaker? Where does this come from? Is this from the car? There's no one in there. Is this it? Is this a speaker? No, that's a, just a regular telephone pole. <laughs> There's so much nonsense in this game. The bank is closed for DFS. Okay, that's weird. I mean, the DFS is a good excuse to, you know, get some roadblocks and cut me, you know, cut the exploration short. But then, why does the game still have these, you know, Automatic heading back scripts. Just, you know, put some roadblocks everywhere. Everywhere I'm not supposed to go. I'm parked in front of the diner, I think. Uh, can I go there? I don't think I can. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Up, up, up. Ooh, shortcuts. Hi there. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, redneck trucker. Motorcycle rider. 
man. Oops. I need something to cut this. Yes, yes, yes. At some point, I will acquire bolt cutters. I'm aware. And then all the padlocks in the world are going away. Trust me on this. Who are you? You're dressed like an FBI agent. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Enjoy your day. I know. Uh, I mean, even if you've been attacked by a corpse. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. So, thing is. Quantum Break, Control, and Alan Wake all happen in the same shared universe. So the fact that this was the same actor as in Quantum Break supposed to mean something? And there was this like black guy who flashed for a, for a moment and I think it was the guy from Quantum Break. The villain in Quantum Break was that guy who played in a Game of Thrones. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. I forgot his name. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha ha. The same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I oh. started getting strange letters in the mail. The blood thickens. Fragments of prose describing murders. Uh huh. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder. That's Max Payne. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. No, that's not Max Payne. Their imagined prophet. That's something else entirely. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. The bridge just... says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. I just figured Let's out... Let's start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. I had some audio going through my speakers in my room because I had not muted them. And I'm really wondering I did not fuck up. I I'm really hoping I didn't fuck up all my stream up to this point because of some like weird feedback or echo effect. Oh, shit. I didn't know this because I had my, you know, headphones on. Shit. Also, this light is gorgeous. And who are you? Yeah, I just kept seeing some audio feedback. Some audio levels going up. On my Twitch monitoring, and I was like, uh, this is not right. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. Yeah, but the tour guides said, fuck the government. So, and we are the government here. So prepare to get fucked. Okay, we have some Sons of Anarchy action going on. No. Yes.
Can I go to the rental cabins? Over there? Sealed off. Oh, hi, Riz. No, the echo effect was me screwing up with my audio setting, and now <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. And thank you for following me. Welcome aboard. I hope. Okay, that's almost an hour, like 45 minutes of gameplay with some weird ass echo effect. I hope it wasn't too detrimental to the experience the writer of these pages knows what will happen and thank you for the because follow they're behind this or because they can see what's coming impossible things are happening here a world operating on different rules i need to understand this strange logic she to is way too unfazed by this to solve the case <laughs> she's like in full detective mode you should be freaking out oh look at this look at this lighting Okay, f thank you for reassuring me. It wasn't too bad at all. If you thought it was a part of the game, maybe I can get away with it. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? <laughs> That's a very good point. Experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. And what, I mean, first, what cult does refer to itself by name? And second, what kind of cultists go around screaming, the cult, this is our cult, cult of the tree, cult of, insert name of the cult here. They don't tend to do that. Hi there, what the fuck are you doing here? Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Il Mokoskela. Fantastic to meet you. You're the two guide guy. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Government Fixing business. This yep. Impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized oh, to be here. Oh, the in-universe yeah, references. Yes. That murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Okay, that was a bit too specific. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll talk to you guys in a second. Let me check inside. Take a look. For more FBC references. I love that this all these direct references to control. Man, there's no clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transfer that is not one of ours. I've fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Uh, leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. This thing. That's another typo. They're all around. I mean, this has to be on purpose. If you're reading this, check for tempering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Uh, Stephen Lean, chef technician. So, Riz, are you familiar with uh, the Alan Wake franchise and the Remedyverse? Since, since all Remedy Entertainment games take part in a shared universe. Okay, I saw that already. There's something new there. No. Something that shouldn't be here. Something that shouldn't be here? It's my ass. So, first, uh, you know about How the murder? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna da Vista, 
<laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. You know, to consider buying it, I really think some of the gameplay is like. Um, so far, it's like heavily narrative. There's not, you know, much going on in terms of action, but I've played every Remedy game there is, and I was a big fan of the first Alan Wake game. So things are going to go south really quickly. They did once, I think. Maybe you were already there when uh, the whole, you know, situation at the morgue unfolded. And I think we're going to... This seems to be the vibe of the game, like going from slow-paced narr uh, narrative parts to high adrenaline, sudden horror, jump scare shit, and going like, you know, roller coaster style all the time. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland yeah, too. Yeah, Anderson. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. That's all for now. Oh yeah, I'm with you. Um regarding the price. I'd be happy to get you VIP tickets into Coffee World. Just say the word. Thanks. But I don't drink coffee. We brew our own beer too. Ahma beer. Oh, now we're talking. I mean, I usually wait for prices to drop, but I mean, this got me because I'm a fan of the franchise, so Let's I was the, the, side, the perfect sucker for this. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. Oh, thank you for the compliments. But one thing feels really odd. Lurk away, man. I'm, I'm glad you're having a good time. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Okay, so I suppose we should... So, picnic area, that's where... There's, there's a crime scene, right? Oh, it's flooded now. A crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like... Oh. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake. In an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. I'm loving this light. Okay, well that's obvious enough. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you yep. come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Yeah, this very same blurry effect. You know, it seems like the air is vibrating around these. We had that in the first game as well, and in control. Uh, hi there, lamppost. I'm going to hide underneath you in a minute, I suppose. I'm gonna get jumped. Night is falling. Music is getting ominous. I'm gonna get jumped. 
I can feel it in the air. Yeah, 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 I can feel it coming. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd he go from here? Well, he went down. That's where he went. Ah! I can shit. feel something. <laughs> shit. <A> presence. <coughs> Nothing girl isn't far. Bus fight? Overlap, yeah, what about it? I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> you're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is Ladle? So this... She could have found this without the supernatural elements. I mean, she could have remembered... I mean, me, the player, I remembered the, the footprints coming out of the tree. This way. Ah. Oh, it's blocked off, so how do I get around? I'm here. So I could have remembered, you know, and make a logical deduction. Instead of having, you know, these superpowers that keep not making sense. I'm not going to Witch's Ladle at all, am I? That's not it. How do I get there? There used to be a path to the Witch's Ladle. This is the Witch's Cabin. Witch's Hut, sorry. Do I go through the water? Maybe I do. Let's find out. Since the path is blocked off, I suppose I just have to walk through the... near the edge of the water. And I go there. Yes, I can. Okay, this looks like the way... And this is creepy as fuck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good swamp? It's not technically a swamp, but you get my drift. Here we are. I'm going to get warped into the dark place. Yep, this is Witch's Ladle. And this is the overlap. What is that? It seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not yep. out of it. You can toggle flashlight boost to increase damage to darkness and burn through dark substance. Okay. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. She's way too casual about it all. I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, the witch's hut. a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga. As if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. So, you know, this works for me. The pages.
because this was the whole mechanic that allowed you to progress in the first game. You would find manuscript pages and they would, you know, predict what was going to happen in the next few minutes. And the whole game revolved around this. Ooh, ooh. What's up there? This is the witch's hut. Yeah, I've been there before. The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. So, a fuse. Is there a fuse box somewhere? In an old hat, wooden hat like this? Kind of unlikely. Oh yeah, there you are. No, that's just a sign. Okay, my bad. Anderson. There you are. Uh huh. Deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Alex Casey is gonna die. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Locate a fuse in imme immediate area. So. That's you? No, you're a beer bottle. Sorry. This fuse is busted. Oh, I read that already. Give me a fuse. There you go. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Yep. Littering is bad. Don't do it. Even if. Even if in that particular case it's going to save my life, but well, you get it. Oh, the break room is a place where you can save your progress. Final save? Yep. Yep. Okay. And so, uh, the thermos, the thermos bottles, they used to be collectibles, and now they are safe points. I like the way they are reusing, you know, traditional symbols and traditional assets from items from the franchise, but giving them another purpose. That's smart. Another page. Yeah, another page. Tell me what making that... progress. The What's going to happen to me? In the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. But thing is. I don't have the heart on me. Okay, so you remember in session number one when I when I said, okay, why is there like a cutaway uh, in the chest of the witch? Because I thought this is where people used to, you know, stick their head through so they get get their picture taken. No, that was a heart thing, not a head thing. So. Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. Oh, I don't need to stop. I don't need to stop and do it. I can do it first and then come back to the mine place later. Okay. That's way better. Witch's ladle, towering over Saga, watching her and the witch, 
The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Okay, so basically, I thought I didn't have to read the pages because uh, they were read out to me, read aloud to me whenever I picked them up. Thing is, I only get like a summed up version of them if I don't go through the mind place and read them in full. I'm, I'm missing some information, so I'm going to go and read them in full from now on. So I'm gonna have to go back to the witch's ladle, I suppose. Yeah, the overlap, which is ladle. Okay. I think I just wasted one of my batteries. I should wait until I complete I'm completely out of juice before putting some new ones inside. Uh, where am I? Not where I want to be. That's for sure. Okay, let's go up here. Mhm. Mm Which is health? Nope. I'm going to Witch's Ladle, not Witch's Hat. So, behind me and then two rights, okay. So, behind me. No. <laughs> uh, I'm getting turned around here. Oh yeah, there's a way, okay. There's a shortcut. Okay. Okay, sorry. The shortcut is here. I remembered it, but I didn't know how to get to it again. Safe haven, thank you. Okay, I'm close. Yes, this is it. Thing is, I do not have his heart. I do not have his heart. So that means I'm going to have to kill him first. What now? I'm back at the overlap. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to push the, this guy's heart through the hole. But I don't have it. So do I need to go back to the station? Get his heart.
which is ladle towering over saga okay so it's not the sign it's let me read this again the ladle what is it supposed to be a strange tree that's the tree well, I'm back at the tree strange noises right So I'm missing something here. There's nothing I can interact with. I can't climb. What I'm seeing is this light, which is the hut. Okay. I switched on that light. Looks like I, I need to go and get back his heart because and they that's this noise which is triggered every time I turn my back on the tree and try to walk away nope of course it's not going to get triggered this time I'm running in circles here I wanna know Why? Everything points to this area. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah. This noise. Yeah, this is the overlap. I'm standing right here on the threshold and I can't get through. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words yeah. she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. That's it. I should have the heart on me. Or maybe I should look at the picture. Oh god, I need this. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. That's a pain. That's really a pain. That's not intuitive. I mean, I figured I figured it out on my own, but my character my my character didn't. So I have to go through the steps of having my character figure out the things in her mind place because I have understood what I'm supposed to do but she hasn't. Right. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Then again, maybe this is a way 
for the game to teach me. If you are stuck, go to the mine place. Don't think. Go to the mine place. Okay then. Think. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Yeah, Read the I know. Printed on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. So let's have a magical hunch. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of some spots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. <sighs> yep. Yeah, I remember that. I need okay. to check the general store for the heart. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some of the ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. <laughs> I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Ho ho ho. That was so boomer of you, Casey. I wonder, maybe Casey has the face of Sam Lake, which means the same the face of Max Payne, because they are taking the piss out of themselves. Like they are laughing at the whole noir hard boiled cup thing they had back in the day. Because by today's standard, Casey is a bit of a dick, really. He's not completely unlovable, unlikable, but you know. You don't really buy his whole my wife bad me boomer thing, see? Okay. Will I get some action here? I think I will. The threat has been looming over me for so long. I've been expecting some, you know, jump scare, some taken hurling towards me for so long it's bound to happen at some point it will just living there <laughs> horror game used gem scare it's very effective destroyed the source point what's the source point and yeah I mean this arm of darkness they looks sturdier than in the first game it took me forever to get through his armor and now I'm almost out of batteries shit oh yes check with lady fortuna at the counter for the code Lady Fortuna, who are you? Where are you? I need this weapon. 
Oh, extra inventory space. Thank you. Fortuna is a brand of cigarettes, isn't it? Or is it the cash register? 705, 713, 717. Okay, I'm um, taking a screenshot for this. So it used to be 705, 713, 723, 717. Madame Fortuna, Madame Agnesa. Can I change this? I wanna... Stefan B. Monday, 745. So Madame Fortuna could be like a code name for the fortune teller. Madame Agnieszka. Okay, these are too many numbers. I have to focus. Let's go for two zero two. Lady Fortuna at the counter. This can mean too many things. What the? Okay, so this is the heart. I'm still not leaving without the gun, though. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. Wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Okay, so we're getting some, you know. Explanation and now for the hunches. Need to get the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Yeah, makes total sense. Everything makes total sense in this game. So yep. Another page. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. So they are Saga out of order. The cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. Okay, so sometimes... Yep, it will be... Yes, please. And batteries, yep. Oh, and the, the batteries using a trauma pad would allow you to heal. Applying a trauma pad takes longer but grants a larger health benefit. Charm slots let you equip charms to enhance Saga's abilities. Only charms can be equipped in the charm slots. Okay, so which one is that? Logan's charm? Do I already have this? Maybe that's because this is the deluxe edition of the game, I don't know. Yep. Okay, good. 
achievement because I used the trumpet. I want again. I really, really, really want again. The Lady Fortuna at the counter. What could this mean? Could be a reference to the Fortune Oh, First, maybe this is misdirection. Misdirection. Is there something else? I can see. Uh, this has to be it. These numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket. Seven oh five, seven thirteen, twenty three. Okay, seven three nine, seven three nine. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. I have a limited inventory now. You can quick slot weapons from the inventory. You can also quick slot healing items and trouble weapons. Yep, I did that. So, uh, quick slot to this when I press down. How do I get back to the gun then? So I have to quick slot the gun as well. You know what? This will make more sense to me if I have weapons. Oh, and the game doesn't pause when I'm using the inventory. Yes! This is a survival horror. Alright. And I'm out of trauma pads anyway so items nightingale's heart where did i put this is it like in my back pocket or something that's gross okay how do i reload uh, there is still this double triangle sign symbol uh-huh uh-huh New page. So some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder throw thought it's a movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were com compromised by the fielder. Not to self, train the fielder. Tuesday, nothing to report. Some animal trigger. Wednesday, hunters out after dark. Poachers heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people. They could get more than the bag and full out there. This is the same handwriting as the ones I already found, but I thought the one, the, the handwriting I've, um, the logs, the journals are already found. I think they, I thought they were from a teenager, but this could be from a cultist. I'm confused. I Casey, don't know. There are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America, I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. So, are there going to be cultists on the way? So, in the first game, as long as you were in the dark, you could get jumped any minute. Enemies would just, you know, appear out of thin air and jump at you. And these, this made your anxiety levels go through the roof at every time. Oh, yeah. Yep, you're not going through here. Okay, time for action.
Uf. Ouchie. Okay, this is hard. This is hard. Oh, it's not. I should have quick saved. Could I? Okay, that's weird, but okay. Something is nagging at me. Need to look at the case board. I will look at the case board, but I really thought the game had saved when I had reached the safe haven. Oh no, here. Here, trim pads down. Thank you. I think I'm going to use the, the Sodaf shotgun against uh, the cultists. Because I wasted a lot of bullets into their heads and they are pretty resilient. Can I quick save here? No, I cannot. I need to survive, and that's it. I just need to be better at the game. What if I don't go into the light? What if I just, you know, go directly into Witch's Ladle? What happens then? There you go. I cannot heal. Okay, this is intense. This is really intense. I mean, these were only two enemies. And they got me on my toes both times. Let's do the ritual. Woo! Yes! 
That's a normal reaction. You should be saying stuff like this way more often. Casey, I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Yeah. Casey! Like, radio Casey, is going to work me? in here. Fuck. What did you expect? Okay, Saga. Going in solo. You've obviously switched dimensions. <laughs> and you're still expecting there to be a radio signal? Come on. Do I get a map? Yeah. I'm off grid. Oh. Okay. 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 Anything else? Nope. So sometimes you can progress without having to go back to the to the case board. Logan? Logan! Where are you? And sometimes you don't need to. Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Yes, you are. Or maybe you aren't. Maybe this is like a nightmare dimension, playing with your fears. And also, this is a remedy game, and they love to have people losing their babies and kids. That's like a big trope in their games. No offspring is safe. Mm-hmm. So is this the way I came from? This is the way I came from, okay? This is the overlap. I'm going to train to find my bearings here. Is this a loop? This is a freaking loop. Please help me. What was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? ATI3, thank you for no, following this is me. Right. This place is Hi looping. there. Like a nightmare. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, this place is looping. Yep. I figured as much. New page. And cheers to you too. See I need to find Nightingale. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale mm -hmm. was there. One of them. The dark presence. Jagger had taken him. Jagger. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place. Wandering in the shadows. Muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium yeah. cabins for Looks like Mick Jagger is the main villain, the main antagonist in this game. Who knew? Can you hear me? I need help. Please. Evil Mick Jagger is coming for you. He will invade your nightmares. You must and attack you with out. stuffed owls. Their shape shifted. Yeah, he's got the moves. Of the you better watch out. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. Okay, this is like all over the place. This page in particular. Alan Wake has a, you know, Alan Wake the character, not the game. He has a distinct, distinct, distinctive style as a writer. Very to the point. Obviously a, a Stephen King influence. This was not his usual style. It was like, you know, disjointed. Okay, let's go through another loop. You cannot scare me with this. I played through PT. 
Okay, I'm actually scared. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit! Is this a bus fight I feel coming? He's here, Nightingale. Yep, he is. Which means basically that shit is fucked. I'm almost out of bullets. I have no healing items. I have one battery left. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. I got a gun and a flashlight. Yep. But without bullets and batteries, the gun and the flashlight don't do much. Oh, some we've got some reality warping going on here. Places fading in and out of existence. That's never a good sign. Yes, yes, yes. Supplies. Thank you. Nightingale's badge. So yeah, there's definitely a boss fight coming my way. I can't do anything with his badge. Nope. I can throw them. Yep. And then I can die. Good point. Uh, so, uh, am I? Yeah. Okay, nothing else I can do. Uh, do I have to jump down from there? No, I have to find my way. Oh, this is the way to the boss arena, I suppose. Show me the clicker. The clicker is a control reference. This game is filled to the brim with control references and I'm loving it. Because control is a fantastic game. Oh, 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 yeah, this is contr controly as shit. Same kind of light. What the fuck is happening here? That was the oldest, the oldest house. For a second, I was back in the oldest house from control. Thank you, Ti. I feel better already. I mean, I did buy this game because I wanted to be scared shitless, so... I got what I wanted! Get back, I have a flashlight! Haha! Oh shit! Oh shit! He's really fast! I need to touch! And there are no. Oh shit! There are no iframes on the dodge. You need to actually dodge the attacks. Oh god. Woohoo! Well, you can get through without, you know, having played any of the pre previous entries. But if you have, of course, it's all very nice fun service all around. Let me go! Which way? Time to run, Saga. Okay. 
Yeah, they're all connected. It's uh, all a shared universe. Okay, am I safe? Sounds like I'm safe. I'm not safe! I'm not fucking safe! Ah! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Yes! Fuck, this is terrifying. <laughs> it's teleporting all around the place. I can never tell which way it's gonna come from. And I have no healing items. Yes. No! No! I dodged inside him! No, 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 no. <sighs> and the space is so cramped, and you have no way of avoiding its attack automatically. Oh god, and I'm back at the beginning. Okay, this is hard. First, take down his armor with the lights. No, no, come on! I had no time to dodge this at all! Okay. One, two, reload. Source points. Okay, didn't know that. I'm getting better. There were some resources somewhere. Oh yes, healing, thank you. Oh no, it's not a healing item? What was it then? And I, it looks like it's random. The environment is randomized. Whoa. It's not always the same path. I took the same path as before and I didn't end up in the same area. Where, 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 where? Nope. Turn around. So if I if I aim at the, the red spot on his chest, one bullet is enough. One shell. Fuck off, where are you? Oh shit, oh shit! How do I get away? There's so much to deal with. I hadn't realized that his uh, armor of darkness had come back on. So I wasted a lot of bullets because... Oh shit, it's always back to the beginning. Oh, this may take a while. Nightingale. 
Because you have to crack his armor first. Like that. And then... You shoot it. I don't get it. Why did it take so many bullets this time around? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, come on. place for me to dodge there's no space uh, so control is not really a prequel or a sequel it takes place at the same time in the same universe basically control um, the big revelation is that there is a federal bureau of control which is like um, a government agency that is tasked with studying and investigating any paranormal supernatural shit that's going on so the events of the first Alan Wake are a case to them they are aware that of what happened in Alan Wake, the first game, and for them, it's one freaky event among many. And by the way, Quantum Break is also set in the same universe. Max Payne, I'm not sure. Okay, I need to wrap this up, I'm getting bored now. No. Okay. Reload. Gotta move now. Yep, gotta move now. Take a right. Time to run, Saga. So no, the the path is not randomized. Is it? I should have found some resources. Oh, there you are. Hi there. When I'm sure that actually the, the path is not randomized, then I'm not sure anymore. There should be a box here. There isn't. I think that the world is shifting around me. How do I dodge this? I can't see shit! How can he grab me from so far? I'm limping. 
I'm gonna die. He can teleport. How do I even dodge this one? Yeah, this is rough. <laughs> I agree. I don't even think I'm doing, you know, really badly or anything. It's just a just a hard fight. Okay. Okay, I have some healing items. So actually I have to uh, be able to, in a hurry, to ascertain whether he's covered in darkness or not. No he's not. Okay, so I can just shoot him. Go down! I'm out of, every of everything. No ammo, no flashlights. Only thing I have is health. How do I survive this? Can I just run? Covered in darkness again. Maybe I should run. Run until I find some resources. I can. I, I'm never sure whether I, I'm going to back myself away into a corner because these environments are really hard to read. Come on, give me something. Shit! Is here. And I have batteries. Get away. Not enough. Thank you for the support. God, that was hard. Hey, Alan. Who are you? What is this? You're riding my who adventures. What do you mean, who are you? You me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, I'm at Cauldron Lake. Thank you. Where are you? 
I don't have any, you know, I don't have enough followers yet. Now that you have all the shiny bits of Twitch. Danger. But I just went past 50 followers, so maybe someday bits will appear. Stay tuned. Is this Alan? Is he out of the prison? At last? Are you okay? Oh, no! Oh fuck, that's fault. him! He got out with my face scratched! Thank you. Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name... It's Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Yes. Whoa. And that's the, the perfect... Ah, perfect place to stop. Oh shit! Oh yeah, give me all that pop rock. Later. Okay, whoa. Moving on to the outro. Okay, this is the end for this session. Uh, wow, shit, that got intense so fast. <laughs> I knew it, I mean... At the beginning, uh, I, I told you, I told... I told in my commentary that, okay, it's okay that it's a slow burner, because I know it's going to go from one to a million in a, in an instant. <laughs> I didn't know how right I was. That was some freaky shit and some hardcore boss fight right from the get-go. That was the first boss, come on! I mean, what are the others be like? What are the others gonna be like? Whoa. Um, this is good. This is really good. Um, I can go, you know, past all my reservations about, you know, some lack of co co coherence regarding the main character and and some, you know, technical issue that didn't quite pop up this time around. But thing is, I wanted some dark, triple A, hardcore, hardcore horror shit. And that's what I get. That's that's what we all get with Alan Wake 2. So yeah, I'm satisfied. <laughs> I'm satisfied because my heart rate went through the roof. And this is what you're in for in, with this kind of game. That's what I wanted. So well, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for, um, you know, watching this stream. Um, uh, well, if you want to see all my other playthroughs, all, all my other games, you can check my YouTube channel, uh, Cosmic Camel Clash. You can find it also, the links in my Twitch bio. So, well, I will be playing some more Alan Wake 2 very soon. Uh, now I just have to find some peaceful, uh, you know, calming activity so I can compose myself again. Well, uh, I wish you a happy life, hugs and kisses if you are so inclined, and I will see you soon again in the Cosmic Camel stream. Bye-bye.